I've been getting some questions about my skincare routine. I'm just washing my face. This is a random cleanser. I got it on sale. I think I got it at Berkeley Bowl, which is a natural health food store. And now I'm just rinsing it off. I'm following it with an Obagi vitamin C serum. I've only been using this for about six months, but I'm enjoying it so far. And I've used this even less time, maybe just a couple weeks. It's a Dr. Hauschka Rose Moisturizer, and I'm following it with an Obagi sunscreen. I used to use only all natural sunscreens, but I like the way that one feels on my face. My closet is a complete disaster zone. I don't even use it the way that I should. I recently started using my bed platform the way that it's designed to actually put a bed on there and sleep on there. Before that, I was sleeping on the floor for a really long time. And when I was sleeping on the floor and I had my bed platform, I had my folded clothes on there, my clean clothes, and I would go pick my clothes from there and get dressed. But now, I actually am sleeping on my bed and I have migrated my clean clothes from the bed to my floor over here and the main reason is because my closet's a freaking disaster zone and I wasn't sure how to remedy the situation but now because of what's going on with my van, I feel like I can use some stuff in my van, bring it in here, and make my life much more organized and my clothes in the right spots. This is what I used to put my clothes on and grab my clothes from in the mornings when I would get dressed. This is what has happened. So this is my room and I've turned this into my closet. Believe it or not, even though it's a kerfuffle here, lots of these clothes are clean. They're just clothes that I've either tried on and taken off or maybe just wore for a little bit of time and didn't fold again. But instead of this all being in my closet, it's taking up a significant portion of my room. So the hope is to organize things here. And then over here, we have another pile of clothes. This is dirty clothes, but I have them here just because my closet, uh, it needs some help. We're about to enter the disaster zone. Here's my closet. So this is fine. I have stuff hanging here. This is fine. I have stuff in these bins that honestly I just can't get to as much as I would like. And then I also have stuff in these bins. But what is going on here is that I used to use this shelf for my clothes and it was really easy for me to grab my stuff and I really liked it. But I've had to put all this stuff on the shelf. This is like a lot of my equipment and things like that. And I would much prefer to have this somewhere else so that I can put clothes on these shelves because I'm just overflowing here. Like there's just not enough room for all my stuff here. And then it's hard to find which clothes I want because it's like, it's just not user friendly like I would like. I honestly prefer shelves to drawers because with shelves, I can look and I can see the different layers and pull whatever article clothing I want, whereas drawers or like bins, I have to like rummage around, where is everything? Uh, so that's one reason I keep it out there, it's just for it's more convenient. I can see exactly what I need, whereas in these it's just, there's just too much going on. And then I also have this mess over here. This is like bags and and on the, on the ground we've got dirty clothes and there's more bags. And here is like all my tarot decks and my oracle decks. I have tons. So I would love for a lot of this stuff to be put somewhere else so I can utilize the shelf for my clothes. I'm pointed out to me he's like have you seen this iris so I thought I would come show you it's this purple one with these blue little veins 
and apparently there's gonna be a lot more. And then right next to it, wow, that is an amazing sight. feeling real good about what we've done in here. Let me show you. Here's some of the clothes that were out there. We've got this nice empty shelf to fill out. I decided to keep my tarot decks on here for now just because it's nice that I can see and pick which one I want. So I like that. And then these here, I have equipment and just all this random stuff in. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is switch it out, put the equipment in here and move my clothes out because these just, I just don't even know what's in there anymore. It's like they've lost in the abyss. And then I'm gonna take clothes out of there and put them on here. I just much prefer it on shelving, it's so much easier. But I much prefer clothes, I'm pretty sure, in these instead of over here, lost in the abyss. Here is my dirty clothes and Everything is just feeling so much better, so much more accessible, and I think I will actually use my closet daily now instead of pretty much avoiding it. And then, oh dang, it just feels so much better out here. And I actually have an idea, but I'm not gonna do that right now, but I have an idea. And as you can see, Ambrose is loving this space. Aww. Now he's got tons of room to enjoy the space, relax, and be his awesome self.
actually inspired. <laughs> okay, I've always loved vegetables, but I'm inspired like even more to eat an abundance of vegetables, like more vegetables than most people eat, definitely. I feel like I already eat more vegetables than most people eat, but now it's like, I'm into new heights of the vegetables. And it's basically because I've been researching a lot about this one woman who, she was like a doctor of science, like a professional in the scientific world, I believe. And she was diagnosed with MS, with multiple scler sclerosis. And because of the field that she was in, uh, she was wanting to treat it aggressively with all the traditional conventional medications. But then her MS just continued to decline and get worse and worse and worse. And when she was like, you know what? Conventional medicine isn't working for me. I think she was taking radiation, like chemotherapy pills. I'm not exactly sure I'm remembering it correctly, but eventually she took matters into her own hands and she started doing a lot of research and she was researching a lot of things and she, came to the conclusion that wow there's something that is a common thread in all these neurological disorders like i believe it was if i'm remembering things not completely correctly that is my fault uh so definitely research yourselves to make sure but i believe she was looking into things like parkinson's uh other degenerative brain disorders like alzheimer's dementia and she realized that there was a link there and it was mitochondria that were not functioning properly and so she thought hmm okay i have multiple sclerosis it's really bad she was bet like basically confined to a chair she couldn't do any form of exercise except for 10 minutes of like light little belly crunches if she did 12 minutes she said she couldn't even function and she decided okay these are the nutrients to that are really good for the mitochondria so she started taking a cocktail of various different supplements and after months of taking them she thought you know what this isn't working and she stopped taking them and then she realized hmm very interesting when i don't take them i'm completely bedridden i can't even move and then she was like okay it's slowing my decline but maybe not quickly enough and so she decided to find the nutrients in the food, like the nutrients from the various supplements that she was taking to find it in the food because there's also a synergistic thing happening in the food where yes, it's these vitamins and minerals that we know about, but there's also other stuff going on there that maybe we don't know about that's gonna be really beneficial for healing the body. And it was when she did that that she started it took like a while to really see progress but she started to actually reverse her ms and this was shocking within the medical community of how she did it and it was just like groundbreaking and basically her diet she helps people she helps lots of people now she's written books and she's very influential in her field now but when she was doing it this was like not heard of and her her diet is and the one that she recommends to people is at least nine cups of vegetables a day at least she said she was probably getting more like 13 15 cups of vegetables a day nine cups of vegetables is like three heaping plates full of vegetables uh she also grass-fed meats organ meats no dairy except clarified butter or ghee and seaweed so basically vegetables seaweed really good high quality grass-fed meats organ meats am i missing something but that's pretty much what she what she ate for herself and she they eliminates eggs because i guess it's like the third uh most common allergen and then all grains, all legumes, things like that. So I'm inspired from her story to eat crap tons of vegetables.
pretty excited because I finally found something that I've been wanting for years, probably like a decade, but I just have not found it. I guess I wasn't looking very hard because as soon as I really looked, I found it pretty much like right away. So, but, I got my belly button pierced when I was 19 and when I got it pierced, I talked to the piercer and I wanted him to pierce it so that there was more pierced, so it wasn't such a shallow piercing. And for some reason, he wouldn't do it for me. And he even said that the way he pierced it, he like pierced more flesh, more skin than he wanted to, which is freaking bizarre because I have a very shallow piercing and most studs, most belly button jewelry, they're just too long. You see so much of the barbell and it just doesn't look as cute. So I had this one belly button ring, the same one for like a freaking decade in my belly button. But I really wanted a different one. I wanted another one. I wanted it to be slightly shorter even than it was. And I finally found the perfect belly button rings. I don't know if you've noticed it in the video today but that is one of them and what's even more freaking spectacular about these belly button rings is that they were like $8.99 a pack I think for three so not only are they the best for me ever they're freaking super cheap so I got three rose gold ones and then I was like, oh my God, I love these so much. Like if this one falls out, like I need another, I, I had to get more. And I got another pack of three gold ones. I'm gonna show you them because they're just amazing. And now I'm set. Like if one falls out, I have another one. And I got six for like less than the cost of one. You know what I mean? What was that? 18 bucks? for six of like the cutest belly button pierce rings. I'm super stoked, especially because I'm like, what the heck took me so long? I've been fantasizing about another belly button ring forever. <laughs> and a wonderful medicine tea. Mm. In here, astragalus. Don't tell me I'm forgetting the names. I don't, I remember. Astragalus, Rubus, and um, Hibiscus. These are the ones I got, and the one I have in my belly right now is basically this one, but rose gold. This is the gold shiny one, and the one that I have is rose gold. And I freaking, it's incredible. But do you see how the bar is like small? And then this is just like the gold color. And they're made of steel. They're nothing like, they're not the real gold ones. And then this one's really cool. So these are all the gold ones. And then I have rose gold basically in these two. And then the other rose gold one is just like a little stone in there and a little stone in there. So they're really nice. They're absolute perfect size and I'm just so stoked to have them. because this honey is so thick, I just kind of leave it on the spoon, or like I take it off the spoon 
but then I leave it like this and I look and I wait for when I get the cacao pods and then I'm like, oh, cacao pod. And then I try to get it and eat it with the honey. I have methods to how I eat certain things. But sometimes the methods change, but this is my method at the moment, this beautiful honey. That is exceptionally fantastic. All right, I typed in Google benefits of vanilla, vanilla bean powder, real vanilla bean benefits. Mood enhancing, ooh, that's always good. Vanilla bean will help to increase neurotransmitter function, which will allow your brain to produce serotonin and dopamine, the feel good hormones. Magnesium, calcium, potassium, manganese, Oh, it's the aphrodisiac B vitamins. It's anti-inflammatory. Oh my goodness. V rich in vanillin, which is a phenolic plant compound. Antioxidant effects, anti-inflammatory properties. May benefit brain health. May reduce added sugar intake. Oh my goodness. And it tastes freaking, it's just like. Well, the combination of everything in here is <laughs> my sleeping munchkin oh you're so cute oh sorry darling you're just so precious oh my goodness What do you guys think so this was what I slept on in my van and in my car when I was living in my car I slept on this and since I'm not in there I just decided to bring it in and then I was like you know what this is what I was talking about earlier that I wanted to do I was like you know what I could probably use this and make a little cozy nook over here to hang out I can sit over here can chill here I could take a nap here if I wanted. Can do this. Can sit up. I could sit here if I ever have company. You know, crazier things have happened. They could sit there. Someone could sit here. We could all face each other. I could sit here, do a meditation. I'm into it. Popcorn? Yeah, popcorn. It's a, it's a really good pan. I do popcorn. And I like it with uh, wheat and fish on yeast and salt. I'm here just putting the finishing touches on my dinner and it's occurred to me that it's probably extremely boring because I'm eating the same things. I'm sorry. I just freaking, I've told you, it's like a craving. So I'm doing something a little bit different. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I just feel like putting some of the spices on this cabbage. Oh my goodness, is that crazy? I don't know. It might be getting wild, but pretty much we've got our cabbage here. This is actually a Hana yam and a potato. So I've got sweet potato and regular potato. Four eggs from the backyard chickens, some sauerkraut, beneficial probiotics. And then I also have some raw carrot and celery over there. And that's gonna do me. But I'll try to switch it up in my next video and eat something different. <laughs> Let me know. Is this getting...
too repetitive for you? I thought about cooking the cabbage in the spices, but my steamer pot was like on the stove, ready for me, looking for, looking at me, waiting for me to use it. So it's just easy, let's try. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. I love this spice mix. It's so wonderful. And I love that I know that I love this now. That's awesome. One thing that's missing, I'm gonna get some seaweed, some dulse. An essential nutrient that we need is iodine. And uh, a good source of it is seaweed. And dulse is probably my favorite seaweed to just eat right out the bag. But I definitely like um, other seaweeds like kombu to make like stews and soups. I wanna make some bone broth soon and add it into the bone broth to make just like a super nutrient dense amazingness. Yes. All right, so this isn't a Japanese sweet potato. But it's really nice and it'll be really good dipped in the egg, plus the best hot sauce. So, you know, it's gonna be spectacular. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I definitely hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope the food wasn't so so crazy boring for you. And I love you all so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.